Shalom family. I'm in the book of Titus, chapter 1, verses 13 through 16. This testimony is true, therefore rebuke them sharply, they may, that they may be in sound with the faith, not devoting themselves to Jewish myths or the commands of people who turn away from the truth. To the pure all things are pure, but to the defiled and unbelieving nothing is pure, but both their minds and their consciences are defiled. They profess to know God, but they deny him by their works. They are detestable, disobedient, unfit for any good work. Family, don't be fooled by such people. Pray for discernment. Discernment in these times are so very important. And trust me, if you're on the right path with Christ, he's going to reveal such people to you. You won't be fooled by them. You won't be deceived by them. But many will fall away from the faith because they are deceived by such people. It's like having the doctrine that tickles your ears, you know, the doctrine of demons, the doctrine of devils. It's something that makes you feel good. There's no conviction to it. There's, there's no change to it. It's like, oh, we'll feel good about our sin. Those kind of people. You know, stay away from them. You know, pray for them, of course, but keep your distance. And also keep your peace. And that's the way of doing that is keeping your peace, is staying away from such people and not being deceived or led astray by them. Because like I said, they have flattering words. It sounds good, but that doesn't mean it leads to good. Later.